close your eyes and give all your attention to the breath. Try to notice when the breath comes in, where you feel it in the body, whether the breath is comfortable, and if it's not comfortable, you can adjust it so that it is more comfortable. And giving your full attention to the breath accomplishes two things. One, you see things in the breath that you may not have seen before. And two, you don't spend your time thinking about how hot it is outside. We have to practice some contentment. We're in an ideal place to meditate, and it has its hot days sometimes. That's part of the price we pay for having a nice, quiet place like this, off the grid. But simply because there's heat outside doesn't mean that we have to make that an obstacle to our practice. Just accept that as just the way today is going to be. And have some contentment of the fact that you have the opportunity to practice. The breath is here. Your awareness is here. Very few responsibilities aside from this right now. So appreciate that fact and make the most of it. Don't waste your time complaining about things outside. And this applies not only to the heat, but also all kinds of things. As the Buddha said, the suffering that weighs down the mind is the suffering that we create for ourselves. And complaining gets in the way of seeing what's actually going on in the mind that's creating that suffering. It's throwing all the blame outside. This person isn't good, good. that situation isn't good. And it's true that there are a lot of situations in the world that are not good, but that doesn't have to be an obstacle to your finding true happiness inside. So practice some contentment. And the Buddha said the one thing you want to be discontented with is the fact that you've still got some suffering in the mind. And there's more skillfulness to develop. He said he, that was the key to his awakening. He didn't rest content with whatever level of skillfulness he had until it had taken him all the way. So if you're going to be discontented about something, be discontented about that. There's more work to be done. And the way to deal with that problem, of course, is to do the work. As for the heat, the heat will come and the heat will go. It will do its thing. You don't have to do its thing for it, which is often what we do. We complain about the heat, and that just makes the mind hotter as well. It will do its thing, and then it will go away. The problem is we've got defilements of the mind, and unless we do our thing, they're not going to go away. They're going to stay. So content yourself with the fact you've got the opportunity to practice. and focus all your attention right there.